In this video I will show you how to create dividend calendar so you can see on which day dividend is paid and on which day there is an ex-dividend date. It works automatically so we just simply change ticker here, refresh data and it will automatically show dividends for that specific ticker. Now let me show you how to do it. First thing uh, I will do is simple layout of calendar. So I will just put here days. So we have maximum of 31 days. Then we have months. So it's Let's start with December, then November, up to January, and here I will put year, so 2022. And I can also name it, so it's December, November, And I can just switch these two columns would be maybe better okay so now I have some simple structure of my calendar so I can start collecting data to fill it in for that I will use data from web. So I will go to data from web. And I will download uh, history of Apple dividends from stock analysis. So here can be used also other website where we have dividend history, but I'm using this one. Now it's connecting and I can see what data we have on that website and here in this table I have the dividend history, what was the ex-dividend date, what was record date, paid date and what was the amount. I will just check it here in Power Query. So it's uh, in date format, in dollars, again date format, so all looks good and I can close and load this. It will create new sheet where this table with dividend history will be, so I can use it in my dividend calendar here that I created. So first I will find a date when the dividend was paid, so pay date, and then I will fill their amount that was paid at that date. So for that I will use the XLOOKUP function, I will be looking for date, so I will use date function, year 2022 month will be December, so 12. I will use I will make B column as absolute, so it will stay always in that same column and day is always in second row like this. So this is the that I'm looking for. I will be looking for in this table in column D and as a return I want amount which is in column B. Okay so my function is is ready. 
it will show some errors if it's not found. So I will add if error. And if there is error, I can just make it blank. I will copy again this formula. And now I have my calendar filled with amounts that were paid on specific dates of this year. Other thing that I want to add in my calendar is X dividend date. So I will just simply adjust my formula that I have here. So if here is error, I will add if and then match function. And again, I will be looking for the same date as in XLOOKUP. So I will be looking for this date, but this time I will be looking in first column for X dividend date. And I want exact match. So when it will be matching this date, it should return that it's true. And if it's true, I want to put there that it's XD, like X dividend date. Otherwise, uh, just leave it blank. And here I will also add if error, in case there is error, we want it uh, blank, like this. Right. Okay, so I will just copy it down and to the right. And now we can see also X dividend date when it was announced for Apple dividend. So everyone who owns the stock before this date will receive the amount on that specific date. So that's what I wanted to see. And I have it here in my calendar that I created. So I will just change a bit formatting. I will add some colors so it's look so it will look better. I will add also some conditional formatting so it will highlight those cells where I have ex dividend date and amount of the dividend that was paid. So if cell is not equal to to apostrophes, so it means it's blank. I want to highlight it with light yellow color, maybe like this from center. Okay, so it will highlight those dates for me. Okay, so my calendar has some formatting here, so I will add another feature. So if I want to change it to a different company, as I have here only Apple, and I want to change it to Microsoft, for example, I will add ticker symbol here. So now we have a APL, Apple. I will name this cell as ticker. And I will go to my Power Query editor. So I will go here to queries, click on edit. And now here in advanced editor, I will add one more line to make this uh, hyperlink flexible. So instead of this value, I will add reference to the value in the cell that I just named as a ticker. So here I will add ticker and it's equal to Excel dot current workbook. Then we have 
square brackets so name is equal to ticker that's how I named it and then we want content of this table here we have zero and then we want from this table first cell so column one and this will give me exactly the value from that cell that I named as a ticker. Now instead of this AAPL I can add ticker Okay, here I'm just missing one comma and now everything here in this editor is okay so it's done so it's just checking for some data privacy so I will just save it and now it all should work fine I will go again to close and load it will retrieve again the same data for Apple but this time I'm able to change the company so if I change it to MSFT ticker go to data and refresh it will show me uh, dividends and ex-dividend dates for Microsoft I can add here also previous years so if I Put here 2021 and just update this formula. It will show me what was the dividend in previous year. So I will just do some final formatting here so it will look better I will hide those months and also remove the grid lines and now I have this nice calendar that will show me dividends for this specific company in this year and previous year I can test it and try some other company like 3M so I will just simply refresh it and it will give me dividends and ex dividend dates for for 3M stock I will adjust here formatting so we can see two digits so number with two digits same here so we can see that the dividend is growing by one cent comparing to previous year I will also try uh, realty income so it's ticker O which is a monthly dividend pair so we can see how it will look like in our calendar so I will refresh it and now I can see monthly dividend for this specific company and that's it that's a dividend calendar that works automatically by retrieving data from website